Welcome back to another Nerbly video. Today, we've got the absolute goat of modded characters. Meet the one and only Han D. First and foremost, we need to all understand that he's known around here as the Big Push. You'll see why shortly. Mr. Dr. The Big Push is so good, it's what I've named my mod pack. There's even merch around the Big Push lifestyle. I've even got a whole ass run of playing as the Big Push. Don't worry about how it ends, just focus on the middle bits, all right? Well, um... The Big Push is a melee character, but what sets him apart from other melee characters is his ranged abilities that make it significantly easier for him to deal with flying enemies like brass contraptions or everyone's absolute favorite enemy in the game, blind pests. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start with the primary skill. The first primary skill is called Hurt. Very creative, I know. Apply force to all combatants for 390% damage. Stuns while overclock is active. Basically, instead of his big f off hammer, he uses his fist to fit, uh, punch his problems away. Next is indeed the big f off hammer. Otherwise known as smash. Smash. Slow down and smash. All combatants for 600% damage. Stuns while overclock is active. It's important to note here that his secondary primary can proc bands, while his default cannot. Both smash and hurt can hit multiple enemies at once. It's just a little bit more noticeable if you're using the big f off hammer. The big push only has one secondary skill, and it's forced reassembly. Stunning. Charge up and apply great force to all combatants for 600 to 1500% damage. I don't know how long it takes to charge to get max damage. I'd imagine it to be a few seconds. You know what's great about this ability? Is that it can proc bands and there's no time limit for how long you can hold his secondary down. He also doesn't have to hammer enemies on the ground. You can hit enemies in midair with his secondary. So listen, you're gonna have a lot of fun just raining death down with your hammers from above or below. The Big Push has two secondary skills, Overclock and Focus. Overclock and Focus both basically act like a Gorag's Opus and just increase movement speed and attack duration. What's wild is that continuous hits on enemies increases the duration of these utility skills. Focus gives you a damage and armor increase, but you lose movement speed. So that sort of works like Multi's power mode. Again, the craziest thing about this utility skill is that the duration increases if you continue to hit enemies. Meaning during boss fights, you should pretty easily be able to keep up these skills. His special skills are what help you deal with the ranged or flying enemies. He's got drones, and you basically need to decide whether you want drones that provide you healing or drones that further increase your attack speed. I think you see where I'm going with this. Drone heal is fire a drone that deals 270% damage and heals you for 40% of the damage dealt. You've got to realize how much healing that is. Kills and melee hits reduce cooldown, which is by default 20 seconds. Drone speed is the same stats, but instead of healing, you get attack speed. I think you can tell just by looking at me briefly talking about his skills. You can see how absolutely busted this man is. It doesn't really matter what you use. You're going to have a lot of fun. So... I think, personally, that his primary skill is really about however you're feeling. Do you just want to punch and f use the big f off hammer? You know, that's for you to decide. I've used both of those skills and had a ton of fun either way. I personally like to use the fists. I think it's a little bit more fun to just go for crazy attack speeds. But the big hammer does a lot of damage, so you know, you might feel that way as well. Also, Smash is a fantastic choice as it can reliably proc bands. The utility skills are where I feel things sort of get chosen for you. Handy is pretty beefy, but slow. So an ability that makes him more of a tank, it's not really how I feel like playing. So I always pick Overclock. His special skill also feels like it's about your preference. I personally don't feel like I need the healing that Drone Heal provides. The Big Push already has enough survivability as is. I think you'll be fine and have more fun if you go for Drone Speed. So again... Choose whatever primary you feel, then go with Overclock and Drone Speed. As for items, like I mentioned earlier, he's a pretty slow character. So anything that increases his movement speed a lot, you know, Goat Hoof, Bead Cola, Mocha, Red Whip, 
These are all good pickups. Backup Mag works really well as you can use his secondary to negate fall damage as well. Plus, it helps proc bans if you're not using the Smash primary. The Big Push also does really well on hit effects. Since you'll find yourself using your drone so often, ukulele, ATG, tri-tip daggers are all great for him. I mean, that's pretty much it. Personally, I think hand... I almost called him handy there. Personally, I think the Big Push is the strongest character in the game, modded or otherwise. While also being a ton of fun, if you've made it this far, you deserve to know why he's known as the Big Push. If it wasn't obvious from the gameplay, he's very good at just launching enemies using his secondary, then spamming his primary to push big enemies off the edge of the map. It's a super unique and satisfying way to play. Nothing like grabbing a bunch of mountain shrines and then just pushing a heavy boss right off the edge in the first 10 seconds. But listen, okay? Don't take my word for it. Go give him a shot. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know which character you think I should check out next. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.